Hey there, Bryce here with a quick message before we hop into today's podcast. We love pulling this podcast together for you, and we love that we can make it available each day for free. What we would love even more, though, is for as many kids as possible to be getting their daily dose of our sugar-coated broccoli. And that's where you can help. If you're listening on Apple and have a moment, we'd love it if you left a review and spread the love. It helps us grow, which is crucial if we're going to continue to do what we do. Thanks for your loyal support. And now it's time for the pod. Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrbal and Combermary people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun. Free. Fresh. Hello and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Bryce Corbett. It's Monday, April 15. In Squiz Kids Today, Bluey's big adventure breaks the internet. China's super fast train, the sharpest shooter in super netball and iPads for parrots. That's what's making news, kids style. The Lowdown. Welcome back to Squiz Kids Today. I hope you enjoyed your school holiday break as much as we did. And what a weekend we just had in big news stories. From Bondi to Israel, there certainly was a lot happening. Luckily, we also had Bluey to put it all in perspective, as everyone's favourite blue healer treated the world to her first ever 28-minute episode yesterday morning. Now, you might think you're too old for Bluey, but what you should know is that she is the most popular kids' show in the world right now, with her 150-odd episodes streamed last year for more than 20 billion minutes in the United States alone. That's billion with a B. She's seen in more than 60 countries, and yesterday morning, hundreds of thousands of Aussies gathered around their TV screens to watch a special 28-minute episode called... The Sign. Now, in the weeks leading up to the ep, lots of people wondered what The Sign referred to. Turns out, like so many things in Bluey's world, The Sign meant a couple of things on a couple of different levels. It was initially a for sale sign on the front of the healer's house in Brisbane, as Bandit prepared to take a job in another city. But it was also about signs that aren't necessarily physical ones, which is to say, not always words and pictures on posters. But lots of times, things that happen in life, many of which are unexpected, which can be taken as a sign. And how, while we never really know what's around the corner, it's always important to love the people around you and try not to worry too much. Because, as Bluey's teacher Calypso says in the ep, everything will work out the way it's supposed to. And for those worried that yesterday's episode meant the world-beating animated kid series was drawing to a close, there was good news at the weekend on that front too, with the Brisbane-based producers of the show confirming it would be back for another series. That, my friends, means a whole new bunch of bumworms, games of keepy-uppy and tactical wheeze. Bring it on. Spin the globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a news story from wherever it stops. And today we've landed in China, where a train that travels as fast as a plane has been unveiled. The train is called a maglev train. Maglev is what's called a portmanteau, the blending of two words together. In this case, magnetic and levitating. Magnets, you're probably familiar with. Levitating is a word that's used to describe something that hovers above the ground. And in the case of these flash new trains, the levitating is achieved by using enormous magnets. As you know, opposite poles of magnets attract and make them stick together, whereas two of the same magnetic poles push away from each other, meaning that this train kind of hovers above the track and is able to move at super fast speeds. Once completed, which is still a few years away, these trains could travel at up to 1,000 kilometres per hour, which is faster than your average aeroplane. Wow. 
Oh, and there goes the classroom companion, Clarion, indicating that today's classroom companion worksheets are based on this story. And today's curriculum-aligned activities encourage students to become word detectives and investigate and discover the root words and the origins of words related to this cutting-edge technology. Teachers, if you haven't used these worksheets before, today is a great day to start. And the best part? They're absolutely free. Check them out at our website, squizkids.com.au. And a big welcome to the hundreds of new teachers who signed up over the break. Good luck to you all as you dive into Term 2. Animal Kingdom. Are your parents always telling you to get off your screens? Well, you should listen to them because parents know best. But you might also want to point out to them that some scientists are beginning to think that iPads and other tablets might be good for parrots. Yep, you heard me right, parrots. A group of researchers in the United States have been testing to see if simple iPad games are good for parrots that are kept as pets to keep them entertained. And the results have been promising. But because birds don't have fingers and thumbs, they're using their beaks and their funny little tongues to touch the screen. Birds spit on an iPad screen. Hmm, not sure how I'd feel about that. Sport time! There was a heap of sport over the school holiday break as the winter sports of AFL and NRL swung into action. And this weekend just gone, it was the turn of Super Netball as the women took to the court and showed how amazing they are. None more so than the West Coast Fever's four-time MVP, Janiel Fowler. MVP, of course, stands for Most Valuable Player. In the Fever's game against the Sunshine Coast Lightning on the weekend, the Jamaican goal shooter shot 65 one-pointer goals from her 65 attempts, helping her team to the highest victory ever in Super Netball history, with the Fever winning 82-62. Imagine scoring every single time you shot a goal. Now that is impressive. Time for the quiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. Where in the world are high-speed magnetic trains being trialled? That's right, they're being trialled in China. Question number two. How many one-point goals did the West Coast Fever's goal shooter score in her team's victory over the Sunshine Coast Lightning? Yeah, well done if you said 65. Question number three. What was the name of the special 28-minute Bluey episode that hit streaming services around the world yesterday? Yep, that's right. It was called The Sign. It's April 15. Today, my friends, is World Art Day. A day right around the world to celebrate art and what an incredibly important role it plays in all of our lives. Whether you love drawing, painting, sculpting or creativity of any kind, this is your day. So, celebrate it. It's also a special day for the following Squeeze Kids celebrating a birthday today and tomorrow. Indigo from Hunters Hill, Charlotte from Mount Gravatt, Xavier from Gilberton, Samira and Ava from Newton, Diesel from Echuca, Cole from Earlston, Harley from Maitland, Oliver from Ringwood North, Amelie from Wollongong, Angus from Strathmere, Quinn from Mount Barker Summit, Jaden from Sydney, Victoria from Broadbeach Waters, Harley from South Australia and Max from Queensland. And belated birthday shout outs go to Sarah and Harley from DY and Rufus from Dulwich Hill. And a reminder to the Squiz Kids who celebrated a birthday over our recent school holiday break to check out our Bumper School Holiday Quiz episode for the week in which your birthday fell for your birthday shout out. And back to classroom shout outs because we're back in the classroom today. Well, at least those of us from Queensland, Victoria, and Western Australia are. 
And classroom shout-outs go to Class 3 Green and Mrs Searle at All Saints Parish Primary School in Albany Creek. Class 5A with Ms Davidson at Brisbane Adventist College. Room 4 with Miss Eifler at Inglewood Primary School. Class 5-6H with Mrs Harvison at Birkdale State School. Class 6G with Ms O'Connor at Haley Bury Rendell School in Darwin. And finally to Class 5B with Miss K at Moran Bar East State School. Don't forget if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout out or if you're after a classroom shout out, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au or fill out the form on our website. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. We'll be back tomorrow with an excellent Squiz the World as we strap ourselves into the super fast supersonic Squiz Kids jetliner and pay a visit to Turkey. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day over and out.